Hello and welcome. My name is Dave Archibald, Tournament Bass Angler, and this is my very first segment of Tackle Tuesdays. This week's segment was inspired by an experience I had a week ago. I was in a three-day tournament for one of my big association organizations, and I was doing very well. Day one, day two, killing it. And I basically went into the last day needing two four-pounders to really have a chance on winning it. So throughout the day, I'm casting, I'm catching, I'm hooking the fish, and my catch rate is pretty high, and I, and I attribute that to the equipment I use. And then I, do, I did have to break off, and I had to tie on another hook. And I found, and I found a spot that I, was, that I was really looking for, and I found a big fish. The problem is, I hook into him, lost it. That one I, first one was like a three and a half, maybe four pounder. Second fish, definitely a four plus pounder, lost. Third fish, get him, lost him again. Happened five times in a row. And of course, I'm, I'm mad, I'm angry, I'm flipping out. I'm like, why all of a sudden am I not keeping the fish on the hook when the last two and a half days, I never had a problem? So I decided to look at my hook. You, you know, I just brought it up and I look, and at first look, I had a rogue hook in my tackle tray. Basically, I store all my hooks in here, I have them organized the way I want, but this particular hook was a hook that I no longer use that happened to be in my tackle tray. And I'm like, what the F? So, cut it off, and I tied on a Diachi hook, which is the hook that I use now predominantly. And after I tied it on, try to get those fish back, no luck. I've, I've already spooked them, so I moved to a different spot. Start hooking again, not losing them. Hook it in a boat, hook in a boat, hook in a boat, like clockwork. And it was an enlightening moment for me because I always feel that most of the products are comparable in quality, especially if you get a decent brand, but I never realized how dramatic it can be and how important everything is. It's as small as a hook, as small as a hook. This little piece is the key to me keeping the fish on the line. And, you know, you look at a competitor's hook, they look pretty similar. There are design differences between a Diachi hook and a competitor's. And I'm a true believer that Diachi knows what they're doing because not only is my catch rate through the roof since switching over to Diachi hooks, but also I can tell, like, when, I'm, when, I, when I got the fish lift and I'm, and I'm trying to take the hook out, it's actually harder, harder for me to take out. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I am not a fish hook scientist by any means, but having that experience, that that night and day experience, sold me on the Diachi hooks. And I, I called up Ron Stallings, and you can call him up and ask him if I actually said this. And I said, "Listen, I, I don't know how you look at this, but..." I'm never going to switch to another hook, and I hope you're okay with that. I hope we can build a long-term, lifelong relationship over this. And he's like, he says, you're in. And I'm like, that's great. You know, and I am a pro staff for, for Diachi, and I reached out to them because I do believe they have a good product. No way did I realize how good the product really is until my experience last week. Unfortunately, because of those fish that I lost, I ended up taking third place rather than first. If I kept a Diachi hook on my line, I feel very confident that I would have taken first place in the big pot. And you just don't want to don't want, you don't want to lose those opportunities. So I went through my tackle tray, went through every hook, and I made a pile for you know I'll give the kids at the dock or anything that need you know people that need hooks. But the only thing that's staying in this box are my Diachi hooks. It's simple as that. And if you're not familiar with Diachi, they do make a number of different hooks. I mean, they have a catalog of hooks for every type of situation. Fresh water, salt water, 
uh, bass, walleye, catfish, you name it. It has a very unique design. They're also known for these red hooks, which is the bleeding bait hook. Uh, I actually believe in these. People are like, yeah, some people, some people think it's a myth. Some people th don't think it means anything. But I actually use it a lot in the spring, especially with any type of bait that's a, uh, that's kind of a watermelon or a green pumpkin. Or this is a watermelon red fleck uh, stick worm from TLC that I use the bleeding bait hook on. And I tell you, this thing gets hit a ton, a ton. And uh, this is the, this is a, a three aught uh, fat, what they call a fat gap hook, or an extra extra wide gap, as a lot of the other companies uh, call them. And, but they also have all different hooks. They have your your typical offset worm hooks, as you can see there. Uh, if you like to, to replace the the treble hooks on your lures, they do have the treble hooks. And they also have the treble hook and the bleeding bait hook. And sometimes I like to put that on as either a lead or a tail, depending on the lure. And there's your standard uh, fat gap hook right there. And then they also have other brands as well in the under the Diachi. TTI Blakemore is the parent company, uh, such as X Point. Uh, similar style. Uh, this is a, an extra strong hook. Like so, if you you know fishing around a lot of heavy cover you might want a, a stronger hook uh, I have no problem with the Diage hooks but some people like to go heavier you also have you know these uh, standout hooks from TTI Blakemore for drop shot shotting they also have the large fry uh, hair fly patterns for drop shot as well and they also have these uh, Bucktail Pro uh, underspin lures as well they have a variety of products uh, under the TTI Blakemore uh, portfolio but definitely check them out but if you're looking for a hook that you can feel a hundred percent confident in meaning when you hook that fish you're not gonna lose it unless you're stupid um, or you're just hooked in a bad spot Diachi I'm telling you Diachi is the way to go I will never use another hook you, you can call me out on it now but I'm telling you this is the real deal. Check them out, diachihooks.com. It'll bring you to the TTI Blakemore page. You'll go, they'll have the whole catalog of products there. They'll have about seven pages of Diachi hooks. And the price is great. This pack, you know, generally you'll see these in, in the stores, uh, but with other brands, $7 a pack. $3.50 for a pack of hooks. You, you know, just for the for the three 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 aughts. Uh, fat gap hooks and you're not going to go wrong best bang for your buck check them out Diachi hooks go get yourself some thank you for tuning in to tackle tuesdays i would hope you like uh, like what you see and uh click the subscribe button on the bottom and i'll have more for you have a good one tight lines everyone